from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. All right, 8.46 on this Thursday morning. Uh, things looking not too bad from a weather standpoint. We've got to deal with wind and more wind. <laughs> if you've got outdoor plans today and above normal temperatures continue. As we look from gathering place this morning, you see those trees waving in the wind a little bit already and some colors. We've been talking about, of course, some parts of northeastern Oklahoma have quick, quickly started to reach those peak fall foliage colors. The wind's going to start blowing more of those leaves off the trees the next couple days. So we want to go see those while you can. Clouds hanging in this morning. You can see from that look. Jumping right into as far as the forecast winds today. We're already at 15 to 20, occasionally 25 mile an hour wind gusts this morning. That will continue to gradually increase today. 25, 30 mile an hour wind gusts, if not a little bit stronger at times, especially north and west of the Tulsa Metro. As we head into tomorrow, Guess what? Another windy day. In fact, I think wind gusts may be even a little stronger uh, during the day, morning and midday hours, Friday, 30 to 35 miles per hour. I've stopped the clock late afternoon. You see the north wind arrows. That's a cold front that's surging in. That cold front is kind of the main focal point for thunderstorms in, on Friday. And out ahead of that front, the severe weather parameters increase quite a bit. Now back to today, hour by hour temperature forecast above normal. It's not as big of a jump from the morning to the afternoon as we had just a couple days ago with the higher humidity, more cloud cover. So 60s this morning, generally 70s this afternoon with those gusty winds, partly to mostly cloudy skies across most of eastern Oklahoma. Once again, Thursday night football games. As we know, we've talked a lot about Jinx and Bixby and then quite a few other games that got moved to tonight because of the weather potential tomorrow. You're going to hold in the, about 70 to the low 70 degree range. So temperature's not a problem, but south winds 15 to 25, gusting near 30 miles per hour. So wind will be an impact and there could be a little bit of drizzle during those games tonight uh, as well. Like I said, highs mid 70s in most spots. Sunnier spots would be just a hair warmer. Tomorrow morning, we're even warmer. Lows mid to upper 60s. Look where our normal low is. Low to mid 40s. We're going to be way, way above that tomorrow morning. A very spring like setup. And then tomorrow afternoon, once again, lower 70s. That cold front late in the day approaching our western counties wouldn't be a surprise if some of our western areas tomorrow evening, tomorrow night start to get pretty chilly pretty quickly as that cold front surges through. So that'll be an impact for Friday night football games. So tonight, as I just mentioned, could be some drizzle for some of those Thursday night football games. Shouldn't be a big deal, but just don't be surprised by that. During the day tomorrow, tomorrow morning, again, some spotty drizzle. Tomorrow, afternoon thunderstorms light up pretty quickly and what we've got to watch really carefully here is that we expect kind of a broken squall line to develop but if we have storms out ahead of that squall line see these isolated storms out ahead of that squall line that's where that tornado potential would increase a little bit tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening especially in southeastern Oklahoma but even up around the Tulsa metro as well but also with the quick movement of the system areas west of Tulsa you may clear out really fast by late in the day into tomorrow evening east of the Tulsa metro likely still stormy through the evening hours and the by early Saturday, that system is high tailing it out of here. So tomorrow afternoon through early evening, the highest opportunity here in the Tulsa Metro. And then we do clear things out for the weekend. Once again, damaging winds going to be the highest threat. That tornado threat I've got in the low category, but uh, if you're in southeastern Oklahoma, that tornado threat may come up a little bit. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely tomorrow afternoon and evening. After the stormy Friday, check out the weekend. Saturday, cooler, a little more fall-like, highs in the 60s. Reminder, Saturday night, early Sunday, that's the fallback time period. And then we climb back above normal Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, highs back in the 70s. A slight chance that we could have a few more showers uh, late Monday into early Tuesday for Election Day. Still a low-end chance for that, but that's something we'll be watching for early next week. We're not seeing any signs of a big drop in temperatures until past that seven-day, probably by the end of next week.